Hey, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create an awesome creative transition just like in the series Sherlock. Wish is really famous for its use of transitions, they're really creative, they have a bunch of them, but this is a technique they have used. I also have another tutorial on another creative transition where we do the object pass by. I will link that video in the description below so you can go and check that one out as well. And also before we start with this tutorial, I'd like to mention that we just released all our essential graphics so all the After Effects templates on our website they are now available for essential graphics which basically means that you can import any kind of project that has been made in After Effects in Premiere Pro without having After Effects or without knowing how to work with After Effects you can easily change the text of all those templates so for all the Premiere users all the filmmakers that are looking for intros and templates about whatever go and check out our website the essential graphics it's for CC 2007 17 or higher so you do need uh, the latest kind of version of Premiere at this point in time but you can just import those essential graphics in Premiere change the text and you have an awesome intro ready to go so check it out links in the description and without further ado let's see how we create that transition so open up Premiere Pro and get started Here we are in Premiere Pro. I already have a timeline prepared with two video files, as you can see right here, that I want to transition into each other. So this is my first video file, and then right here we have our second video file. They don't belong together, they're not from the same movie, but it doesn't matter, it's just to show you the technique. So what I want to do is basically fade in uh, my character first and then fade in the rest of the scene. So um, that's a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, so what I want to do is make sure that we put this on the third layer for now. So by default we have three layers, you can make more if you want to. Um, but we have the explosion preview video. What I want to do here is hold alt and drag one on top of it. The top one I want to shorten it just a touch just like uh, like this and then for the other video I also want to shorten it uh, just a bit because all the information that you shorten is actually going to transition into each other so um, we need to shorten it just a touch and then we can drag this uh, just right next to it. Okay so now what I want to do is select it and of course um, well select this video file right here and we want to go to the opacity and the effects controls right here go and make sure that your program monitor is actually uh, that it has some space left next to the video so what you can do is go over here and make it like 10% big then go to the opacity and click on this mask tool which will allow us to create a mask of course uh, so click on the pen tool and we're going to drag something like so and there we have it and now what I want to do is increase the feather just uh, as I want it right here. So I'm going to zoom in back to 25% and maybe add a little bit of feather in here and play with the mask expansion here. Uh, maybe a little bit less feather. And there we go. So this, is, this part is actually the part that I want to fade in first. And like so. So now we have a cut to this scene and we still have a little bit of the other scene right here so I'm going to make this a little bit longer so we actually see the other video uh, still right here so that's what we have right now okay great I want to drag this video file down to the second layer right here so it's next to this video file that we just um, trimmed down a little bit and then we go to effects and go to the uh, video transitions dissolve cross dissolve and we're going to apply the cross dissolve right here to these videos and then it's actually going to dissolve in one part of that other video as you can see right here but the other part right here is still not visible so what I want to do here is click on this video file, hold alt and drag it on a new layer just on top of it and then just trim it down as you want and then of course you can just cut it in all the way uh, but of course it still has its mask so click on it and click on the mask right here in the effects controls and just delete it so now we have the entire video and right here so we have it fading in and then we cut to the entire video or we can apply another cross dissolve right here and that's going to dissolve the rest of the video in here as well just make sure that the cross dissolve duration is actually uh, shorter than the end of our original video right here so let's do a preview
Okay, great. So that's basically it. Of course, it depends on which kind of video you're using and uh, that you can like key out different parts. Maybe the expansion is a little bit too much. So I want to drag this down just a touch. So we still see uh, enough of the other video. And then of course the mask right here for the head. We want to make this a little bit bigger. And there we go. This is going to look a little bit cooler. So you can still modify everything later on. Um, but this is a pretty cool technique, and especially if the two scenes belong together. It really depends, but if you're like reading a paper that you still see the paper that's been read and then still, uh, still see that person reading it and then just cutting to the next scene. So you can do some really creative stuff with it. Of course, in this video, it doesn't really have a lot of meaning. It's just basically the technique that has been explained. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. Definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. And like I said at the beginning of this video, we have essential graphics, which are really, really awesome if you're a Premiere user and you want some really cool intros that you can make in Premiere but you don't have like um, the time to make it in After Effects or knowledge to make it in After Effects. Great way to do that. Links will all be in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.